Hello, welcome all to MES e-learning channel. In this lecture, we are going to see how to reduce a circuit using series and parallel concepts. So, let us start with the first example. If you see in this particular network, you have been asked to find resistance between terminal A and B. So, the terminal A and B has been marked. So, to start with, whenever you get this type of sums to find resistance between two points, always imagine a battery between two points. So, now since in this we have to calculate what is the resistance between terminal A and B. So, I will just imagine a battery between these two terminals. Okay. So, if there is a battery, there will be some current flowing. So, this current will come at point A and it will get split up. Okay. So, let us say suppose this is my current I 1 and this is my current I 2. So, now further if I trace the current I 1 at this particular point it is going to get split up. So, let us say this is current I 3 and this is current I 4. Now, further when I see current I 3 which is now flowing in 6 ohm, the same current flows in 2 ohm. Now, if between in 2 resistance if the current flowing is same, it gives me a hint that these two resistance are in series. So, this is basically just to get an idea which resistance are in series or parallel. This you need not show in your exam, this is just for your understanding. So, now when I analyze this particular network, I see a current I 3 which is the same current flowing in 6 ohm and 2 ohm. So, 6 and 2 will go in series. So, it will get add up. So, now I can further reduce the circuit. So, the reduced circuit diagram will be this. So, 6 and 2 which are in series will get add up. So, 6 plus 2 is 8. So, this is how my reduced circuit diagram will look. So, now this is my terminal A and B which I have maintained. Now, as in this case we have seen that is the current I 3 which is flowing in 6 ohm, the same current goes in 2 ohm. In the same manner, if I look at I 2, can I say the current I 2 which is flowing in 5 ohm, same current will flow in 1 ohm. So, in this case again I identify that 5 and 1 will go in series. So, I can further reduce this network. So, further my network get reduced this way. So, 5 and 1 will get add up to make 6 ohm. Now, further when I analyze this circuit, now if I look at this part, through 8 ohm I have a current I 4 flowing and through this other 8 ohm I have current I 3. So, the current flowing in these two resistance are different. So, if I see this is the splitting point that current I 4 and I 3 are splitting and they are getting combining at the point B. So, that gives me a conclusion that this A tome and this A tome goes in parallel. So, I can further reduce this to make a one resistance. So, the circuit diagram will reduce further as, so the circuit network gets reduced to this that is 8 and 8 will go in parallel. So, that combination when you solve you will get 4 ohm. So, these two resistance gets combined to make one resistance that is 4 ohm. So, now further when I analyze the server network, I see a current I 1 which is flowing in this 4 ohm, the same current will flow in this 4 ohm. So, now that makes this two resistance in series. So, it will get add up to give you 8 ohms. So, the circuit diagram will look this way. So, this 4 and this 4 I will combine. So, that gives me 8 ohms and this 6 ohm will remain as it is this is my point B. This is the current I 1 flowing and this is the current I 2. So, now when I further see, now I can easily make out that this 8 ohm and this 6 ohm are in parallel. So, I can reduce it to make one resistance. So, 6 parallel 8 will give me answer 3.43 ohm. So, this gives me the final answer that is resistance between terminal A and B is 
0.43 ohm. So, this is my final answer. So, in this lecture, we have seen how to find an equivalent resistance between any two terminals using series and parallel concept. Hope you have understood. Thank you.